Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be playing Wolsen Lords of Mayhem. It has officially come out of beta and is now at full release. So we're going to give it a go. I actually got the beta earlier this week, played through it, really enjoyed it. Uh, not really expecting that it was going to do full release. I guess I, I didn't really know the timeline. And so now we're, we have to start all the way over. Everything I've done previously is, you know, it's gone and there's so much more content. So at the end of the video, I will put some footage I had of the beta. You can kind of see what some of the differences are aesthetically, um, UI differences, things like that. So if you watch till the end, you'll see some of that. Uh, but in the meantime, we're just going to go through and uh, create a character here. And now we have gender options. So I'm, I'm going to go female on this one. So real quick, I'm just going to create a character and uh, we'll be right back. Real quick before continuing, I did experience some audio issues during this. My settings ha were a little bit wonky, so I will be fixing that moving forward. And the video is pretty lengthy. I appreciate you checking it out. It was definitely longer than I expected. In the future, these episodes will probably be closer to 15 or 25 minutes in length. I don't plan to do an hour long one moving forward, but I hope you enjoy it all the same. Now, eventually, I will probably be going through and playing all these different classes that we have. Uh, I think I do want to play Mage, though, to start out. Oh, wow. Okay. Armor looks pretty good. So, yeah, I think this is what I'm going to go with to start out. I'm just going to do all caps, name it something uh, nonsensical here. And I just need to check my settings. So, they have story mode and normal mode now. So, story mode reduce challenge to just kind of enjoy without dying normal mode i think is how it's intended to be played yeah intended wolfson experience that's what we're gonna do um and then just gonna go through my settings see what else is new in here i am gonna rock everything on high just gonna rock everything okay so we're gonna rock everything on high then oh that looks good ally health bars i am gonna turn that on Health and resource values, basic attack. I don't know what that means. Go damage, I do want that. Go item level, I do want that. We'll probably turn off some of these things as we go, but I think this will be now. For whatever reason, it won't. I'm just going to start in offline mode because it, it wouldn't log into my Steam, but that's fine. I don't expect to have to change it otherwise, and I've got to restart, so we will be right back. All right, and we are back, ready to go. Um, let's set up the way we wanted. All right, let's do this. Let's give it a go. So, if you may not be familiar with this game, it's very similar to games like Grim Dawn, Van Helsing, Diablo 3, Path of Exile, stuff like that. So, you'll probably see some similarities because it does borrow from some games. But it's pretty good. Um, the beta was a lot of fun. Visually, it looks really good. I had some issues with the animations. They did look a little stiff, but apparently they did do some updating for that. There are a good number of cinematics. I haven't watched any of them, so let's uh, do these. If you cannot defeat me, how do you plan to defeat the supernatural forces that feed and prey on mankind? Again! Do you not feel pain? I feel it all right. Just as I feel yours. Pain is a merciful teacher. I had hoped that you three more than anyone would have learned to embrace it by now. Orphans carry the burden of pain with them, always. Finding a new family only alleviates it. Look at you now. That pain has made you strong. Proud soldiers of the Republic, purifiers hunting witchcraft wherever it hides. The children of Hemlock. My children. With all due respect, what are we doing here? The Brotherhood of Dawn attacked one of our keeps two weeks ago and we still haven't moved against them. Our way commands that we retaliate. Sister, our way. Our way commands that we follow the Senate's orders. What if they ask us to stand down? They won't. Arrangements have been made. Arrangements? Grand Inquisitor! At ease. The Senate voted for your retaliation campaign. 
They're sending the purifiers to march on the Brotherhood of Dawn. Good. Operation Dawnbane now begins. Prepare my legion. Wonder how tall this guy myself. is. Looks massive. He reminds me of the mountain. Like I said, I haven't seen the cinematics, so I can't, I don't really know what the animations look like compared to what they were before on this side of things, but I'm hoping to see a difference in the animations in the actual game itself. We need to get through to engage the Brotherhood of Dawn before daybreak. We won't make it in time if we're pinned down. Take my children. Silence the archers. The rest will march on. Grand Inquisitor, purity and sacrifice. Love it they got all these shields up. Worried about arrows and those guys are just hanging out. Just on me. They're not worried about it. You have luck would send us. Yeah, yeah. I'm not messing with you again. Focus. All right, so this is... The opening sequence, uh, so far it's very similar to, uh, I want those ledges clean. very similar to what to it was in the beta. It's just kind of, you know, classic introduction. Look, a Republican pop is trying to okay. There's a dedicated dodge button in this game, which I really enjoy because it kind of helps with the slow movement speed. I feel really slow. That definitely assists. Animations do look better. I can tell so far. Oh, I do like that mechanic. It's a lot of fun. I was thinking initially when playing the beta that the movement speed is actually worse in this game than games like Diablo. However, I did play Diablo earlier today, and I think the movement speed is actually a little bit better in this game because of the dodge ability. I, th I think it helps it feel like you move a little bit quicker. I think my problem is that I'm just so used to Path of Exile at this point and how much faster you can move in that game that I'm having a hard time adjusting to a bit of a slower pace. Maybe later on that'll change. One massive change is that in the beta, the max level was 20 and now it is 90. Huge difference. Also, the UI is different, which you'll see at the, the end with the uh, previous video. Yeah, definitely Scott. UI overhaul. Hey, soldier, you all right? Where's the rest of your squad? Soldier. I don't know what that does. Okay. Who's alone? He's in shock. Leave him be. Shut up. Who's alone? Shut up! We don't have time for this. Let's move. <laughs> Music is pretty good. You're gonna owe me big time. I praise your resilience. Now we're just gonna fight this, uh, you know, this demon, this unbeatable fella. Val, it's now or never. Now come to me. Like I said, this come is just the Oreo entrance. No, nothing it's major here. Purifiers only serve mankind, demon. I do not request. I 
Oh, he actually takes damage now. I believe in the beta he didn't take any damage. So. I mean, it's kind of a stage fight. I don't think you're supposed to beat him, but I don't know. Might be wrong. There we go. I can't. He's too strong. Val, I need you now. Be at peace. Force. You shall be no more. All right, so now we get to play as the mm, aspects, I think is what they are. I'm not sure. This was not in the beta. I knew that these existed, but didn't really know much about them. Kind of wild, though. Do a dodge move, which is cool. Beat him to death with a hammer. <laughs> that was hilarious. Just a shoulder shrug. Oh gosh. Pretty good intro. Some of the voice acting isn't spectacular, but then some of it's pretty good, so. I don't know, I'm excited. Really looking forward to this. I finished the first chapter. I don't know what's different for the first chapter this time around, but there are two new chapters now for release, so we've got quite a bit of content to get through. So if you do enjoy this video, you know, while, while we're here, um, you know, give a like below if you have any comments, tips, tricks, anything. If you enjoy the game, just feel free to leave a comment. If you do want to see more Let's Play content like this, then uh, make sure you subscribe so you can keep up with that. I do plan to continue this because... This is a, definitely a style of game that I enjoy. I am... I got some hips. What happened okay. back there? I feel different. Let's zoom in here. How is it that I can use witchcraft now? Oh no. Okay, she just looked like she had sense. some wild hips there. Okay, now, I guess. Uh, yep, I know how to play for the most part here. So one thing that's cool is the auto attack on the mage uh, ricochets now. See that? It ricochets between enemies. It did not do that in the beta, which I think is really that's sick. Cool. I like that. But what Definitely it's helps with the clearing speed. So you've got a willpower rage system in this game. So using your basic attack gives you willpower. Using your magic takes away willpower, but then it gives you rage, and then you can use abilities that need rage afterwards, so. I don't think I had any abilities as a mage previously that uses rage, but that may change here. If anyone from the Republic saw me transform, I better hope not. Yeah, the game is really good looking. I really like it. The gore is very satisfying. Very satisfying. Let's take a look at the inventory system here. Yeah, so you can left click to move it, right click to equip, um, which is great. One thing I like too is if you hold alt and left click, you can throw that shit on the ground. You know, it's attention to detail things like that that I really appreciate. <laughs> don't want this gear, I don't want to have to drag it all the way over. Let's me get rid of it, so. You look awfully real for a nightmare. What was that? She's possessed by a demon. Yes. Let's hope you're wrong. Otherwise... Talking to yourself again. Speak of the devil. Darling, I need a moment. Talk to you later. <laughs> Whoa! Easy now! <laughs> Val, snap out of it! <laughs> it's me, damn it! Hush it! Did you knock your head? Who do you expect me to be, exactly? Oh, I don't know. Some bloody demon. What? No, look! I have no idea what's going on. 
I was having my ass kicked when something awakened from within to save me. I need help, all right? But I'm not some demon, goddammit. Come on, Val. Oh, really? Prove it. You're such a tool. That does not seem like something a demon would say. Or would it? Point mm. taken. Very manipulative demon. Okay. So, what now? Frankly, I don't know. We should regroup with Operation Dawnbane, shouldn't we? In your state? Flinging magic and turning into a monstrosity. No, 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 no. They'll burn you alive. Hemlock wouldn't. Perhaps. But Malis sure as hell will, and with a smile on her face. Oh, look, let's get out of here first, then we'll figure something out. Feels good. Alright. Yeah, the ricochet with the mage is... I really appreciate that. I do like the UI changes too. But I turned on the number. That. I apologize if you hear squeaking in the background. I just recently got a puppy. He's having a good time out there. Easy peasy. So I had complaints in the beta about difficulty. I did I did think it was a little too easy, but then again I think it was the fell through the ground right there. But I did um I think I was playing story mode, I don't think normal was an option, so expect it to be a bit harder now. Something very wrong. We shouldn't be too far from the city state of Stormfall. That should at least be a safe place. I'll try hard not to talk too much over top of the dialogue in case you actually want to we must pull back, which you are exposed. If we do, civilians will get slaughtered. Better them than us. Let us in. We beg you. Mercy. Murderers. Back away. Back away. I know that face. You've got a plan. You need answers. You need answers. And I don't think Malice will get you anything, you anything more than a rope, than a rope, around, rope your around your neck. So, here's my plan. <laughs> what happened there? Stormfall. Easy enough, yes? Meanwhile, I meet up with our forces and I try to talk to Edric about the situation to see how we can convince our people that you're not a bloody demon. Agreed. I would rather appreciate not being executed. So, where do we meet? On the way here, I heard talk of an inn in Stormfall, the Laughing Seagull. Trying to breeze through some of this content. Can't let people in. Build capacity with refugees. We need to go in. Things work, friend. Only conscripts are allowed through. Order of the Merchant Prince Damascus. So you want fighters? Fight. Serious. Fight. Blah la la. Here we go. So, um, we have the character sheet. So different types of attributes here. Uh, they used to give defensive bonuses, like agility used to give you dodge. Um. And I think toughness gave you resistance and stuff like that. So that's pretty... All that's gone, it looks like. I don't really know what I want to do with the build right now. I do like to put points into my spell chance critical. And you'll notice whichever one you have the most points in becomes your primary. And that's the increased damage modifier more. That is a very squeaky background. Um, I'm going to put a little bit into this. And I think health is going to be... Pretty important, so. but and then we've got Gates of Fate. So in the beta, you would get two passive skill points. Now you only get one, totaling up to 89. Two additional points are unlockable through Champion of Stormfall mode. So this is what we're here. A monstrous wheel. So in the beta, I felt like it wasn't as massive, be and I think it was partially because you got two points, whereas now you get one. So this is definitely going to be different. Uh, I don't know exactly what route I'm going to take right now. I, I'm just going to throw a point into spell damage and uh, ailment damage for the time being. One thing that's neat is you can rotate the outside walls. So I am going to probably be going towards... I don't know if I'm going to be going towards ailment or not. I think I might be though. I think we're going to... Uh, I, I haven't looked... All these are new on the outside, so I haven't seen any of these. I don't really know which direction I'm going to go with any of the doubles max for. 
fire skills can launch a meteor. Huh. Okay. Um. Cool. So we'll be learning as we go with that. A lot of cinematics. And they look good. I really like the design of the town. Really, the graphics are fantastic. Especially when I was playing Diablo 3 earlier. I actually think this game looks better. Let's see what you've got for me. I believe this game was a Kickstarter project initially. So you kind of have low expectations at first. And like the cobblestone here looks really good. No, I think it's more impressive than Diablo to me. So they have jewels that you can forge. Like you can... Remove gems, also re-roll items and sockets now. Buy gem. Like, changes the socket type, I'm guessing, and the gear, so that's cool. Got this guy who sells stuff. Take this. Thank you. Ground, you guys that shit up, I don't want it. And then we go to this person, Interax, which I think is how you pronounce it. But these are essentially spells or skills. So you gain these and you get new skills. Um, oh yeah, that is a movement ability. They have skill tags on it now. Show you that it's an attack and a movement. That's a spell. This is the attack projectile rogue movement. So you have to have a dagger bow or pistol on to use that. We're going to get one grasp though. It. Ta -da. We've learned it. So ASM and modifier. So active skill modifier. So for each skill, they level up. I don't know what this duplicated skill stuff is, but for each skill, they level up and they have these different modifiers. It, you, it was eight, now they all have 16. And you gain points. I think you gain up to 10 modifier points, if I'm not mistaken. And you can add them into... The, so, for example, all the, all this row is... This, these take level or one modifier point. They take two, three... Pretty cool. One that I really like that I had previously was, yeah, Winter's Grasp is cast in a circle around your cursor. So and normally it's just cast around your cursor. means that you cast it up ahead. All right, let's continue though. Enough of that nonsense. Pay attention. You are all that stands between the greens and your families. So stop sobbing and get ready for hacking. Character model looks pretty good. But we're not even trained. How are we supposed to kill them? You use the sharp edge. Ugh, civilians. Have access. Another new conscript, huh? You look different from the others. Oh, I know. You're not wetting your pants. Oh. I've been on battlefields. A soldier, huh? Lucky day. Listening. And we got shit going on. We got reinforcements. I got it. Got a quest for me. Yeah. Dedicated town portal. Always welcome. Always love that. What is this? Little icon. I'm, that's a shrine or something. Sure. I haven't seen that before though. All right. Let's go do this. Of course, you got waypoints. Ah, that must be Sandor's barricade. Please don't tell me you. Maybe. And message organizing. Sorry. Greens are coming. Wait. Station here. We're not gonna read everything. That's just nonsense. Keep time to show those greens the color of the storm. Warm her up. I want to hear her sing. No. Squad two to the west. Squad three in position. Here they come. Goodness. Fire at will. Give them everything you've got. Stand as one for Stormfall. Gotta charge that gun back up. All right, let's do this. Tunnelers, protect the cannon. To the north, push them back 
So with a staff, I think you it's a two-handed item, but I think with a catalyst uh, on the mage character, you can actually have like a pistol or something in your other hand, or a shield. I haven't used those before, but it might be something I explore. Go in here and use the... Oh, sorry. Wrong button. Yeah, cool down on that winter's grasp is pretty heavy. Show them the might of the storm. We'll live through this. I need more power. Oh, it's so I need that reduced cooldown. So long. Yeah, the ricochet is so nice. Go help this guy. Oh, froze that guy. Oh yeah, I forgot to have uh, these fireballs. So I guess I could probably use that. Kind of cool. You can roll and do, you know, frost nova. I guess is what I'm gonna call it. But you can roll and do it at the same time, which I like. All right, here's our boss friend. As you can see, you know, major attacks are telegraphed. They do a pretty good job of that. So it makes me think that boss fights later on are going to be, you know, somewhat skill-based, which is cool. Oh, there's this skill break bar now. I don't really know too much about that. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done it right there. But I know you can, I don't know, I guess break them and put them in stun. I think they take additional damage or something once it's broken. go yeah broken so I think he takes additional damage now spell uh, from spells and elements things like that he's definitely harder than he was definitely harder than previously in the beta so noteworthy who the hell are you soldier just a messenger some messenger you are what's the message then that the reinforcements are coming Soon. Impeccable timing. Take their sweet time as we get hammered. We won't hold for much longer if they don't get here soon. There's more. Your orders are to stand your ground at any cost until they arrive. Are you serious? My men's morale is hanging by a thread. Their friends are dead. They are famished, wounded. We have one cannon that barely works and little to no arrows left. What those buffoons are sentencing us to death for no reason. We won't with you won't have to. Oh yes, and why is that? I'm taking the fight to them. Watch me. The voice actor for this guy is really good. Really like that one. Um, one thing to notice inventory, you notice you have two slots for shoulders, two for gauntlets, clubs. I really like that. I think that's cool. Don't see that often enough. All right, so what do we want to do this time around? Um, really, thing on this, uh, you know, critical. Bell chance here. All right, so we did for shield spell damage element. Honestly, I'm gonna do this 10% cooldown. Come back here, you fool! They have a giant burning one leading them. It will fry you alive. I'm not letting your men die, Sandy. Good range. Right. Oh, there's shoulders right there. These. The only one complaint I had, I won't say the only, but one complaint I had about the loot system is that it, you know, if you cover over it, then it shows it, but otherwise it doesn't really it kind of fades and you have to hit alt to get it to pop back up. I was kind of annoyed by that at first, but later on when I'm just hunting for specific types of gear, like legendary gear. I didn't really mind it. It, it was kind of like its own built-in loot filter, which I really appreciated. Hitting that right there. A giant burning. That explains a lot. 
must find it and stop it. What is this little step here about? Um, I didn't go check out that thing over there. Oh, well, I'm going to be back over there later. I'll be back that way later, so I'll check out that shrine then, I guess. See what this little staircase nonsense is. This. What does that do? And That's okay. Nice AOE on that fireball. Always appreciate that. And let us go. I do want a little casting. Eventually, I'm just gonna really pump points into. Let's see, that is cast speed and 8% damage. That... Yeah, I do want this... stuff. I do want the all resist stuff as well. We'd be putting quite a few points into that, but there's some things in the strength tree, like health and resistances and such, that I need to kind of focus on too. And good. These are, I guess, rare monsters is what you could call them. This way, there's another staircase over here. Check that out. I need a breather. Stamina. Alright, so we're at this other staircase location. Oh! So there's a hidden area I guess I could enter back there. I need to go back. Take the boots. I don't have it on up. Right now, I'm just gonna assume it's better and throw it on. hammer. Oh, shit. I thought I had the cursor ability. Um... Do, 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 do. Ferocity. I think I want that one. Pants. Um... leveled up. Oh, that I don't know what these beetles are for. That's okay. Alright, I'm gonna go back over to the other steps location. I can find up here. Alright, so I couldn't find the steps disappeared or something, I don't know. So I just avoided it. One thing I didn't mention is I think there's a menu B button. Option now to oh, have mercy. That lagged on that. So as you pick up gear, I believe you can change the cosmetic appearance. Dies that you can get as well. So much customization. Oh,
Not again. It's getting closer to the city. What the hell is going on? I believe when I level up here in a moment, I will put some modifier points into my abilities. Oh, I was wrong. It needs to hit level 5 on the ability, not on the person. I'm actually just going to dump. Spell crit chance here. Element chance. Uh, element day. I'm going to go with. No, I lie. I'm actually going to go with health and reduction and percent. And, you know, I need to focus a little bit of effort on it. I want to put myself in such a bad position that I'm just last can in the whole. The entrance to their network Especially since I don't really have any process. movement ability. Dodging. It, kind of, it goes away pretty quick. Okay, so there's a staff upgrade right there. Well, maybe anyway. Say that. It's... Don't know for a hundred percent, but I'm thinking it probably is. This ricochet is such a welcome change. All right, so we got thunder strike. Uh, I love this ability. Well, I should. I did love this. I don't know. But. Cross damage, I had to spell. Yeah, I think that. Um. And, gives a bleed ailment damage, but I don't. I'm with that. Um. Yeah, I think I'm fine with that. So. Good. Pick these up. All these. So, the Thunder Strike was actually one of my favorite abilities in beta. I think it was overpowered. I know they did do some rebalancing of skills, but I think Thunder Strike in particular was pretty ridiculously strong, at least for my build with high crit chance that I previously. Pretty much my go to. I would basically just freeze enemies in place, Thunder Strike them to death, and then dead. It looks pretty good. So many eggs. These are not random raids. They're here to colonize. Difference is, I think it's taking a lot of. Yeah, it costs nine, seven, seven and a half. Same as winter. Seven. All right, so we've got points that we. And reduce cooldown. Definitely want that. Gas speed, increased damage. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll go. Thank you. 
I can't click on this enemy. Look at this. There we go. There we go. He was tough. For all the wrong reasons. Alright, so we are gonna check out this here. Hope for the best. Nothing really that elite about him, unfortunately. Bit of a bummer. That's okay, though. I got these stairs. Not possible. Alright, so we're gonna do some health and put some points into wisdom. Because I do want to be able to freeze enemies. Things of that nature, I do find that pretty useful. Areas who get. Alright, so we got two skills here. Um, okay, warrior projectile type of stuff. I don't really want that. Doesn't necessarily seem better. Definitely. It seems like that. And we just leveled again, so we're going to do a spell. Oh, no, sorry. I guess I just had one in there. Um, and then we'll here. I think I want that willpower one I can do last time. I decided to choose some health instead. There we go. We leveled it. Got good range for this under strike, as you can see. Belt has a slot. Power regeneration, critical hit chance. I mean, that's right up my alley. I don't know if the crit hit chance, um, nine shield, cross to attacks. I don't know if the crit hit chance is the same as spell hit chance. I assume it, but I'm not 100. I'm gonna opt to get that, I guess. area. Continue our journey. Can't manage Got another elite pack looking section over here, so we're definitely going to go. Check that out, and then I think we're gonna head north. And when we get to a waypoint, we're basically gonna. Well, it quits on this episode here, but. Gotta get there first. Here we go. Level 6. Level 6. Shouldn't be too bad, I guess. Let's see. Ooh. Frozen mid swing, but he still hit me afterwards, so that's good to know. Just because he's frozen, he'll finish his animation. I can't just stand there. Keep going, I'm not gonna farm every single enemy. Keep moving along. Oh, there's one of those crystals over here, though. I need to go check that out.
Pretty sure it's a shrine, one of the new shrines that they added. How long does that last? I don't see any kind of icon buffs. I don't really have any idea how long I'll have that. Um, let's image from it. The phenomenon. That must be why the sphere are flocking to the surface. Still don't like the icon on the mini map. It's a little too big for the map, and so it feels a little weird. Didn't really like that in the beta either, but that's fine. I guess I'll get used to it. tank and stuff with this. Very tanky mage. Good. All right, here's the waypoint. So we're going to call it quits on this episode. I'm going to go back to town and sell some of the stuff and kind of see what's available so why if there's anything new if you enjoyed this video give it a like if you have any questions comments uh, tips or anything feel free to leave a comment if you want to see more of these videos as they roll out then definitely subscribe and then right now i'm just going to show you some gameplay of the beta so you can kind of see what it looked like for the release i will catch you next time